as an operatic soprano obsessed with the human vocal instrument. I was thrilled to accept when offered the opportunity to work with actors' voices at the Actors Centre in Covent Garden. The idea was to choose individuals with whom to devise a bespoke theatre experience based in voice and movement over a three-month period. What you'll see here are the auditions of some of the actors chosen for the project, which started out with the working title The Seasons and is now known as Tempus. It's a wonderful place. I mean, I don't live in London, I live in Cheltenham, but I'm backwards and forwards to London every five minutes. And it just seemed a brilliant opportunity to be part of a collaboration and almost a, um, a new, new venture. And it, you were using all of the, um, the areas that I like. I, I love movement, um, singing. I noticed that obviously opera is your, your area of expertise and uh, that's something I'd like to perhaps go into at one point, hence my singing teacher in London. Um, and it just seemed like a brilliant opportunity. I mean, I do a lot of drama, I do a lot of advising work, I sing, I dance, it just seemed ideal. like everybody's bringing stuff and then create something together uh, and I like that very much then also the whole voice thing uh, it's a long time since I worked properly with my voice um, not um, 
super good singer <laughs> in any way, but I like very much to work with the voice and also with the movements. Um, I worked in Denmark with a theatre company called the Odin Theatre. Mm, okay. Uh, and that's a lot of uh, also trying to get the voice into the movement and taking from each other and using it sort of in a group. Yeah. Um, and that's what appealed to me when I read about the way you worked and the workshop. So that's why I applied. Da synger dig en lille fugl på kviste brosne rude. Giv tid, giv tid, den yngler glad, og basker de små vinger. Giv tid, og hver en kvist på blad. Giv tid, hver blomst du springer. This workshop, it, it sort of uh, it caught my attention. Yeah, yeah, it caught my attention in several points also because uh, Sounds very much like something that's developing under the way. It's not something where you have a script from the beginning that you have to get. This is your part. This is something that seems like it's a yeah. continuous creative that's, process. Yeah. season in the summer or something like that and I'm always looking for an opportunity just parallel to my work to keep active and, and, and grow a little bit and develop because I do teach a little bit of theatre as well and bringing ideas to the classroom it really helps me to keep active and also work towards something it sounded interesting I did a bit of device work on my MA and haven't done much since it's been more mainly sort of script work more traditional acting work so that sounded interesting sort of moving towards the flexibility and I love being active. I love to sing. I haven't actually done a little bit of musical theatre. I haven't done as much singing as I would like. Mm -hmm. And so I tell you, it just fits in with my schedule. It sounded like a real opportunity. <laughs> Sam West, who was the chap who taught her, and um, he said, um, you, know, you know, after some sessions, you, you're ready for get going out there and, and doing it. There's a bright summer haze on the meadow. There's a bright summer haze on the meadow. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye, and it looks like it's Climbing clear up to the sky. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. All the sounds of the earth are like music. All the sounds of the earth are like music. The breeze is so busy, it don't miss a tree. And that old weeping willow is laughing at me. I'm particularly interested in the 
relationship between sound and the body, and it feels like this workshop really works on that. So, because um, I I'm an actress, but I sing as well, and I've had a singing background. So, putting the two together and work on that for many days, and it's just wonderful. Che splendidi tramonti dipingeva. Adesso brucia solo con furore. Tornerà un altro inverno. Cadranno mille petali di rose. La neve coprirà tutte le cose. E forse un po' di pace. Tornerà odio l'estate. It's oh so quiet. Shh, shh. It's oh so still. Shh, shh. You're all alone. Shh, shh. And so peaceful you fall in love, sing, boom, the heavens got loose, sing, boom, the sky caves in, woo, bam, you've never been so nuts about a guy, you want to laugh, you want to cry, you cross your heart, you want to die, till it's over, and then, shh, it's nice and quiet. But soon again, shh, shh, starts another big riot. You blow a fuse, zing, boom, the devil cuts loose, zing, boom, so what's the use? Woo! Bang! Of falling in love. I think it's just the idea of working towards something. It's really. You know, because obviously I've, I've got experience of singing in shows and I've got experience of going for auditions, but, you know, my nerves always get the better of me and I think something like this is really nice because we can just all devise it and work together and then have something really exciting and really cool at the end of it. So I think that's, that's definitely what attracted me to it. <laughs> That's why I wasn't looking for dancers yes. or singers. Yeah. I'm looking for actors who can do movement and sound. Long gone, and you left me longing. Tear swift as I stand, rooted here, while you drift further, far too far to make amends. Many people came between us. No one comes here now. Where you went, I could not follow, for the wind had changed somehow. So there's only me and this lone oak tree, standing in for all the places that I'd rather be. The shiver of its branches is the whisper of the sea. Will you ever come back to me? Will you never come back to me? Do you know where you can find me, wandering the dunes, where the days go on forever and the moons are never new? Dreaming of the sea, dark seasons, Starless and unsure, unaware which distant harbour is your shipwreck or your shore. So there's only me and this lone oak tree, standing in for all the places that I'd rather be. 
the shiver of its branches is the whisper of the sea. Will you ever come back to me? Will you never come back to me? Found another faithless lover, swore we'd never leave each other. Why couldn't I read the lies in his eyes? So there's only me and this lone oak tree, standing in for all the places that I'd rather be. The shiver of its branches is the whisper of the sea. Will you ever come back to me? Will you never come back to me? Will you ever come back to me? Will you never come back to me? Back to me? I was watching an interview the other day with, um, oh, who? Emma Thompson. Thompson. Oh, yeah. And one thing that really struck me was how deep her voice is connected to her body. Now when she's acting on film or in television, you don't necessarily notice that so much. But when she's just speaking as herself, being interviewed, my lord, that really comes across. Yeah. The voice is absolutely anchored in her body and that is astonishing to hear, you know. Um, and so she obviously has this incredible instrument that she can twist and turn and she's in command of it. And often we, we're not, as actors, we, 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 that almost comes secondary to the work that we do as actors, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But the voice is such an important component. Roses are red, violets are blue. To love is our nature, our gift from the new. One man and one woman to start life anew. The oak and the water from which all things grew. As life seeks life of every hue, we give up our bodies, each death to undo. The turn of the year, the seasons on cue, teach us how to change, to give our heart her due, to give earth her due. One seed, one hope, three out of two, this trio replaces a dream that's untrue. With the gods' blessing, the future in view, a man and a lover, I come here. With heart and head and body too, I choose and am chosen. I take the path through. While roses are red and violets are blue, to love is our nature. My love is for you. What is Tempus? It is the result of an organic and intuitive development of an original theatrical experience showcasing nine actors in voice and movement, from workshop to theatre in exquisite words and music. A future world provokes conflict between druids and scientists and between the gay lovers trying to save it.